Hi there, this is Matt Miller from Ditch That Textbook. And in this video, we're gonna be talking all about using posts within Microsoft Teams. Posts really are kind of like your digital bulletin board for your class. And you can use posts to create conversations, to post announcements, to post information, to pretty much any channel that you want to within Microsoft Teams and they will show up under the post tab. And so in this video, we're gonna talk about how to create them, what you can do with them, and how they can help you and your students. So as you can see in this team, under the general channel, I've got a wide variety of posts. I've created a conversation. I've posted some assignments. I've even posted a fun little picture to make my students smile. And so to be able to do any of that, all you have to do is come down here to the start a new conversation part under your posts. And so one thing you want to think about is where you want to post this to. Do you want to post it to the general channel where everybody can see it? Do you have a specific channel that you would like to post to? And so that's something you want to think about. When you create a new conversation, you can click right here and just do something as simple as, um, as type a little text a little sentence and then from there uh, students would be able to reply of course we can go a lot bigger than this too and you can use the format button to change it to a couple of different types you can do a simple conversation like the one that we have up above or we can change it to an announcement which has a little more colorful heading and a bigger headline you can even choose a different kind of illustration to be able to put as the the background and then from there, you can also create a subheading and you can type your announcement. Now, from there, you've got a variety of different options as well. You can choose who replies. So can you do you want to create an announcement where every student replies to it or just you and the moderators that you select? You can also post this announcement or a conversation into multiple channels. So if you have several different channels that you want to post it to within this particular team, or if you want to be able to post it to different teams, then you can click select channels there and that will let you choose that. Now from there, you can do a variety of other things as well. Um, for instance, you can format the you can format the text within it. So we have here are the details. We can, of course, bold and italicize that and everything. We can change the different types of text that we've got. We can indent, we can add bulleted lists and so on and so forth. We can also add attachments. And so if it's helpful to attach something, then we can always you know, bring in a file and add that to our post. And then in addition to that, we can add little stickers, we can add animated GIFs, a uh, wide variety of things that we can add to this um, announcement, including a poll. We could always create a poll that we want students to take and even create a checklist of items that they need to complete. We can even add praise, which I think is a pretty neat feature where if students do something impressive or something that is noteworthy, then we can add praise. We can add a personalized note and then we can we can add that praise to the class so that everyone can see it. So what can we do with posts within the classroom? There's a variety of different ways that we can use this feature within our class in Microsoft Teams. For one, we can just make announcements to the class. If there's something that everyone needs to know, then you can announce it, especially if you announce it to the general channel, then everybody gets a notification of it. And then that way they know what's going on. You can also create a, an individual channel for a specific subset of students. For, in, for instance, if you have a handful of students that have some makeup work to be done, you can always assign, um, you can always put a post into that group so that that small group of students gets it. You can also start a simple conversation with students where you ask a question and then you post it and you ask students to reply. And then what's also nice is that they can actually get into a conversation within those replies and make sure that the people that they're replying back to see it by doing an at mention, by adding an at and then starting to type the name of the student. They can actually 
tag that student in the reply so they make sure that they hear it. The other thing that's nice within posts is that if you post an assignment, which by the way, you do have the option whenever you create an assignment to add a post to a specific channel so then students see that it's been added. Whenever you add an assignment, if you update that assignment, as you can see right here, Microsoft Teams will add a little reply to show that the details have been modified. So if something changes, if the due date gets changed, if you add additional instructions or something, students get notified. You can also use that praise feature I was just talking about earlier. And so once you get done with that and you hit send, it can get posted into a specific channel as well. And then of course you can even add some fun stuff. I mean, to be able to build community to make your students smile, um, you know, just adding a fun little picture or animated GIF or something can, can really do a lot to add to the community of your classroom. So those are just some of the ways that you can use posts. Hopefully you've got sort of a basic idea of how to do that now.